Rich Martin's 12-hour day on top of Mount Zion begins with an 80-step climb to the top of the fire lookout tower. And once he's up the 65 feet, his office for the day has a 360 degree view of the surrounding forest and foothills. The morning shift starts with uh, making sure uh, no fires are ignited overnight. This lookout was built in 1928 by the same company that back then built windmills. It replaced this first lookout that was just a tall tree that looked more like a treehouse than a tower. The current tower was closed 12 years ago due to recession budget cuts, but now has been reopened this month and is already paying off with early warnings of wildfires. The lookout has been responsible for reporting 46 smokes and four of those were uh, first reports of fires before 911 was notified. The California Department of Forestry had been relying on video cameras since the lookouts were shuttered, but now they want to reopen three towers with volunteer staffs in Amador and El Dorado counties by next year. The hope is that they can get on fires quicker. A key component to that is just attacking those fires aggressively right from the get-go. So lookouts are great for that. They're able to spot smokes where maybe there's not cell service in some of those really uh, outlying upcountry areas. Rich Martin leads the volunteer program, and that makes sense. When the school bus would drop him off nearby years ago, the 10-year-old Martin would scramble up these very stairs and keep the lookout scout company. Very pleasant time. It's uh, given back to the community. While cameras do have their place, Martin says people often perform better. The naked eye in a tower is the best tool there is. Uh, you can determine the difference between smoke or dust. Mount Zion will be manned through fire season, which they say here could last into December. In Amador County, Will Hereford, KCRA 3 News.